My name is James Miller. I'm an orthopedic surgeon in Columbus, Ohio, specializing in hip and knee replacement. Today, I'm going to be showing you a case presentation on my use of Arthrex Amnion in total hip replacement. Our patient is a 68-year-old male who is HIV positive. His most previous T-cell count was 500. He is also a smoker with a half pack per day history of smoking. Patient is also treated for hyperlipidemia, and he has a BMI of 22.9. Physical exam in the office of his right hip shows he has an antalgic gait on his right lower extremity. He does not use an assistive device. He does have pain with FAI, which is a test we use to try to determine whether the pain is coming from in the joint. It stands for flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. He also has passive range of motion decreased secondary to pain. No tenderness of palpation over the greater trochanter and a negative straight leg raise, which tells us that the back is not involved. Imaging AP of pelvis and a cross table lateral of the right hip, you see here he has significant degenerative joint disease in both hips, actually. The right hip shows end stage joint disease with joint space narrowing, bone on bone contact, osteophyte formation, subchondral sclerosis, and subchondral cysts. The treatment plan for this patient with a diagnosis of end stage right hip degenerative joint disease, he has failed all conservative treatments, including activity modifications, weight loss, physical therapy, oral anti inflammatories, and an intra articular corticosteroid injection under fluoroscopy that we perform in the office. So, as you can see in the video on the left side, this is a video of us placing the amnion. We have performed the hip replacement and closed the tensor fascia. We are placing the amnion product above the fascia and below the subcutaneous fat. We will then close the subcutaneous fat over it and then close the skin as well. On the right side, you can see a photo after we've placed the amnion product above the fascia and below the subcutaneous fat. Postoperatively, this is an image of the patient at two weeks. And as you can see, he has a well-aligned right total hip replacement. We are very happy with the sizing and his leg lengths. In follow-up, we have photos here from his two-week visit and his two-month visit. At the two-week visit, we are very happy with his incision and his wound healing. He has basically no scab formation, minimal swelling, no evidence of any dehiscence, and we are very happy, especially with this patient being an HIV positive and a smoker. At his two-month visit, his incision has healed fantastically. He does have some pigmentation there, which is normal at this point. It usually dissipates over about a year's time, and that scar will actually match more of his skin tone as time goes on. But with the amnion, we were very happy in this patient and we had no issues. Thank you.